What up, CB101? How's it going, guys? I'm excited to chat with y'all today and um, talk about our real estate case study that we have been just working on in the in the background for the last little bit. So if you guys want more uh, training on how to do lead generation for local businesses through, lead, through chatbots and, and even through Facebook ads, uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know if that's something that you're interested in. If you guys are catching this on the replay, I'd love to know uh, who's there, where you're tuning in from, and uh, I just, I'm so excited that you're part of the, the CB101 community. So let's hop to the end here, and um, I'm actually going to show you at the end where it all where it all finishes, right? So if I hop into, um, into this right here, where we take all of our leads, right? Not only do they just go through the chatbot, but they actually end up here in our, our lead database. And you'll notice that this is actually where all of our leads are housed. And so we were able to get, I don't want to show all their, all their info here. We were able to get all of those customers, all those subscribers, not only into our chatbot, but also they gave us their phone number. And then we made it really easy for the client to be able to access this info um, right here in this Google Sheet. So I essentially, I wanna show you how we got from this, this ad here, right? Which I'll show you all the way to actually having people give us their phone number. And then what we do is we actually send uh, our clients a text message with the, client, with the leads information as well. So I kinda wanna show you all, uh, all of that. So let's see here. I'm going to hop in and see if there's anybody who is, who's watching. Um, see if there's anybody who's, uh, who's tuning in. I want to see, can you guys see my screen? I think you guys can see my screen. Hilton, what's up? So you are were part of the inspiration for this, uh, this training. But let's take a look at some stats here, okay? So I have it set to message effectiveness, which is a custom um, set of, of data that I've selected. So if you go in here and you go into your custom columns, it will actually allow you to create, to customize your columns. And then I pick out some, some, you know, the ones that are most important for, for messages conversation. So let's take a look at it here. Look at the stats. We've reached 16,000 people. So that's pretty exciting for, for a local business owner knowing that they were getting in front of over 16,000 people. That's pretty cool. It was, uh, they reached them 25,000 times. So almost, almost, almost two times, right? So if you think about that, what a lot of uh, people don't quantify to their business owners or to their clients is how valuable those impressions are, right? Especially when someone is brand new to the, to the marketing space, to the advertising space, in the sense that they've never done social media marketing before. Well, this, these impressions, they go a long way. This is like a commercial in, in your customer cell phone. So it's really, really important just to remind your clients of the value of showing up, you know, that many times to that many people. But what do we really care about? We actually care about, you know, conversations, right? New messaging conversations. And you'll notice that from this, we generated 331. I don't know if you guys uh, can see that, but we generated 30, 331 uh, total new messaging conversations, right? And that's, that's how, many, how many people actually responded to the ad. Now, you'll notice that, so what that was is that's about 80 cents per subscriber, right? That's 80 cents per subscriber. Now, what does that mean? Well, those subscribers are in the chatbot. Those subscribers, a lot of people go, well, you know, the chatbot, it's, you know, it's, a, it's not a real lead. And it's like, it, that's only if you're not a very good marketer or if you're not a good chatbot designer, right? Because that means that those people, these 330 people, we can now follow up with them. We can now send them communication. We can now, you know, nurture those people into um, motivated prospects, right? So what you'll notice is that right here, we got down to about 80 cents per subscriber. Now, that's not the final number that we want, right? That's not the final number that we care about. But that is a really, really good, um, you know, that's a good number, given that it's, Guys, look at look at how unsexy this uh, this stuff is, right? And so, what I mean by that is, this is for a a uh, this is for a not a real estate, but a mortgage professional, right? A loan professional. And so, it's not a very sexy kind of you know thing. But if you can now offer someone eighty cent leads, right? Or when it comes down to it, let's see, we got seventy nine 
And how much did we spend total, right? How much did we spend? We spent $263. So 200, let's say 264, $264 divided by 79. That's $3 and 30 cents per phone number, right? $3 and 30 cents per, per phone number that they're getting. So think about that. If that equates into, if each one of those you know, deals equates into a few thousand dollars commission, right? Or even more because of the lifetime value. Well, all of a sudden you're paying $3 per lead for something that's going to return itself hundreds of times over, right? So that's really what I want to show you is the value of what you can provide to, um, to your business owners. Now, this is, this is kind of the magic in terms of what people want most, right? They have this, this, this set this number of leads, you know, this, uh, these, emails um, and uh, or, or specifically they wanted phone numbers here and that's what we collected was phone numbers because it makes them easier you know it makes it easier to be able to follow up they can call they can text and obviously they have the rest of the people who haven't given their phone number they have those people in the chat box right and they have those people to be able to follow up with and and continue to to nurture so Let's dive in and I want to see if there's any questions here. So guys, how, what questions, um, whatever questions that you guys have, throw them down there. But let's see, I want to walk through, you know, how we actually did it. So let's see here. This one is getting 64 cents per subscriber. Let's take a look at that. So it's uh, notice that we're doing it to people who are 55 years or older. We're getting a relevant score of eight. So that's not, that's not terrible. And uh, let's see, what's our cost per click? Our cost per click is 23 cents. So that's, that's pretty good. But notice here, what it is, is it's just a click to messenger ad. So notice I'm not getting very many engagements here because my goal isn't really to get them to comment on it. I'm not, I'm not really getting them to comment. I want to get them to click because when they click on this, they're going to go straight to my, uh, my chat bot. They're not going to go to a get started screen. They're not going to go to a welcome screen. No, no, no. They're going to go straight to my chat bot. So you can see it says I can view on Messenger. So let's see, let's go to the Messenger Home. So if I go here to Messenger, you'll see that if I were to click this ad, it would take me directly to this message. Now it would be on my mobile phone, right? But it would take me directly to, let's see here. Uh, close out of the Messenger app. Maybe it's just on my, on my, oh, I see. It's gonna show up on my phone. I see, I see, I see. So let's go here, let's view on desktop. Oh no, I have my, I have my ad blocker on, um, or not my ad blocker, my, my news feed blocker. But anyways, when they click this, it's gonna go straight to, to, their, to their messenger. Let me see if I can pull it up this way. I think you can pull it up this way. I'm previewed here. So notice it says, uh, nope, that's not what I want. Can I do this one? No, no, it doesn't let me preview it. Lame, 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 lame. That's all right. But anyways, here you'll see, this is what it looks like. They click the ad and it goes straight here. Hi, Hector, just click below to view the list of homes. And it says homes for sale in San Antonio. Boom, view homes and they're subscribed. They click that and they're in. That's literally all it takes for people to be able to subscribe. And that's why the cost per subscriber is so low. Now, Obviously, this is here in the U.S. and stuff like that, and so we're not following GDPR laws or anything like that for the subscribers, uh, so we don't necessarily have to be, like, you know, as transparent right off of the bat about the fact that we're going to follow up with them, but what we do is we hop into our bot, and once they click that, <clears throat> what we do is we actually follow up with them a few minutes later uh, to be a, so that we can ask them for some information. So... What happens is that when they come in, you'll notice a couple of things. So if I go in here and I go, uh, let's see this one that, you know, pool homes. When they come in, this is actually the block that they come into. So they come in off of this and it's set up via the AI. I've, I've covered in some other videos specifically how to set it up. But you'll notice that when they come in, we subscribe them to a sequence. We actually notify the client that a subscriber has come in. And so our, our client gets like mm, maybe six or seven, uh, probably about five to 10 emails per day from us, letting him know people are coming into the chat bot, right? So he's getting an email every time he gets a, a new subscriber. And he's also getting an email every time someone gives their information for them to be able to follow up with them. 
So we also do that as soon as they come in, right? They come in and it's like, boom, they're subscribed. Boom, they, we let the, the customer know. And then the first thing that we actually ask them for is we, for, we ask them for their phone number. That's, what, that's how we get so many phone numbers so quickly because we want to be able to capture their, their, their information when they are our most kind of excited, right, if you will. So we ask them right off the bat, where would you like to forward the, the list to? And what happens is, is if they send it, if they give us their phone number, we say, okay, great, look out for a message from us soon. And then here's the, the lead magnet that you requested. So all we do is we just kind of gate the lead magnet right behind the, uh, right behind the phone number, right? So if they, want, if they want the lead magnet, yes, they had to subscribe to the bot, but they also had to give their phone number. Now, here's the thing though. A lot of times people don't actually give their phone number right off of the bat. They see that and they're like, oh, I don't wanna give our phone number. So what we do is if they don't give us their phone number, what we do is we actually follow up with them three minutes later. You'll notice here three minutes later, if they haven't given us their phone number, then what we'll do is we'll actually go through and we will, um, uh, where is it? We'll go through and we'll send them a follow-up with, with the lead magnet, right? So it sends them to add the copy, that pool homes copy. So it sends it right here. So it says, just click on the button, uh, on the button, below, it doesn't even make sense, on the button below to browse the homes on your phone. There you go. So we send this regardless if they give us their phone number and it'll actually track it. So basically it says, right, you know, in the, in the follow-up, it says if they haven't given us their phone number, right? If their phone number is not set, then send them this. But if they've already given us their phone number, then they don't have to do anything. Now, the next day, we actually follow up with them again, and we ask them some questions. And once again, we're getting their phone number. And then if they give us their phone number, we send it off to the client, and we take them out of the follow-up sequence. And once again, we're just sending them, look, if you notice, we send them a message three minutes after they subscribe, and then we send them three messages over the first four days. So I guess that's four follow-up messages over the first four days, but uh, we do it in a, in a very nonchalant way. You'll notice here, we ask them questions and we always give them an opportunity to opt out, okay? We always wanna give them an opportunity to opt out so that they, um, oh, I need to put this right here, text replies processed by AI, that's the one. Um, so all of this to say that this is how we actually, once they're in the bot, that we actually get some of these phone numbers um, after if they didn't give it to us initially. So this is the this is the part, and then there's some Zapier connections with, which I could go through if anybody's curious here. But um, let me hop in and see if there's any questions. Ryan, uh, Jodine says, do I have any case studies on horse trailer sales? Definitely not. Um, sorry, uh, that's not a uh, not an industry I've had any experience in. So I want to encourage you guys to throw down your questions. Um, because questions get answered and questions also get noticed. And a lot of people who ask questions end up getting a lot of free stuff later on because we, we as like quote unquote influencers or whatever, right? And I hate that, I hate that word. It's just kind of a gross word, but we as like, you know, trainers or teachers or, or whatever it is that I am, um, we notice the people who, who engage on these things and in that engagement, is, 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 it goes so far, right? I mean, just in the way that it helps to create relationships. Like it's weird to think how, how much, uh, you know, how close I feel with some of the people who hung out on my, on my lives. I just, I just realized that I just, I, I brought on someone onto our team, right? And we just, uh, we just hired a, uh, a content um, creator and a content manager for uh, millennial skills and HD marketing. And they were actually someone who like, like followed me and was on my live videos and commented and engaged on live videos. And then we ended up connecting and I realized how talented they were. And I actually reached out to them for the job and offered it to them. So, uh, so, so with that being said, I just, I, I think that it's so important to realize the value of, uh, of doing that. Um, Object says that looks good. He needs to jump onto the chat field training. Yes, uh, guys, if you guys have not started Andrew Demeter's free chat field course, okay, I posted it in the, in the CB101 group. So go and check that out. Um, 
because that is uh, super valuable, definitely super valuable, and it's free, which makes it even even more. So that's huge. Uh, Beth, do we have in info on a med spa? Uh, we have a little bit. I've I've gotten I've ran some good ads on med spas. However, what uh, what was the challenge for med spas was that we didn't have any um, cooperation with the business on their end in terms of implementing the systems. So we got them a ton of leads, but unfortunately they didn't call any of them. They didn't follow up with any of them. And so none of those leads, you know, turned into real business. Um, you know, the stats and the, and the leads were, were, I mean, we were, we were crushing the, the ad campaign. People were excited, um, but the, the business just was not, not following up with these people. So that's a challenge there, um, Beth. Um, but I will let you know, I'll keep working on it. Hilton says, if you already gave them the list three minutes later, what are you offering for their number on the second time around? So what we're offering them is, I mean, this is a real, this is, this is a, a real estate space or a, um, a, uh, you know, a, a mortgage or a loan in, in the loan space. And so what we're offering them is, is the assistance to, to get the, 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 like to get started. Right. Um, we asked them, you know, uh, for their phone numbers so basically that we can follow up and get the, and get the process started. Uh, and unfortunately real estate and, and kind of loans are, are a little more, are a little slower in their sales process in the sense that a lot of the systems that are built for that, those industries require an individual to kind of hop on a phone and walk someone through the process, if you will. I mean, and maybe it's the nature of the industry and it gives itself to, you know, and, and the real estate and the, the loan space naturally require a little bit more, um, not only relationship building, but also kind of hand holding and stuff like that. But with that being said, um, uh, with that being said, I think that um, for, for the follow-ups, right? Like, like whenever it comes to follow-ups, I think that it's really, really important to not just say like, Hey, buy. Do you want to buy? Do you want to buy? Do you want to buy? Like that's that's really annoying. That turns people off, and they're they're not going to open featured messages. So it's always about trying to take like a different angle. And so like the first day, we ask them, do they know what their price point is? And if they do, then we go, okay, cool. Let me you know do some research for you, and 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 you know I'll follow up with you on that on that particular info that you just gave me. I'm gonna go do some research on what's available or what I can do. And I'll, let me follow up with you to, to get you the results basically. <clears throat> so that's kind of the offer. However, if it's not like uh, what we've done with, in other industries that is a little bit mm, less dry, if you will, is we have used um, like testimonials, we've used case studies, we've used trainings, different things like that, which make it uh, kind of show a different angle and a different side of, uh, of that particular, um, you know, offer, if you will. So that's what I'd say about that. All right, guys, I've got a call in a little bit. So I appreciate all the likes and the loves and the shares guys. This group, um, is something that has become quite, uh, uh, just an, just an incredible group of people. I mean, I think right today we'll probably hit the 4,000, um, member mark and we've done that in two months. And so you guys are just, you're contributing. And what I don't think that you realize is by you guys liking and loving and, and commenting on these videos that actually helps more people to be able to find this group. And the more people that find this group, not only the more valuable is the community, but then it actually makes it more, it incentivizes us as the content creators and us as the providers to spend more time here because there's a, there's a larger community to serve. So you can actually help yourself by liking and loving and commenting on these things. And you can also help other people um, to be able to get exposed to this stuff as well. And, and in turn, help yourself as well. So. Anywho, uh, enjoy your Memorial Day, if that's what you're celebrating, and um, have an amazing, have an amazing one. Um, drop down any questions, if you guys have any, and I'll come and answer those on the replay later.